It's nice to be back with you. I'm uh, Kim Douglas here from Coldwell Banker, real estate agent, and um, chatting with one of my faves. And this is Stephanie Triantos from Lemonade Solutions. It's so nice to see you. Um, you're a yeah, you're a home organizer and a stager as well, right? Yep. Yeah. So we chatted a little bit before about how you helped me to organize some things around my place. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, you know, we'd kind of continue this conversation in helping people. So they're still at home, right? <laughs> and <laughs> the funny thing is, um, you would think that being at home, you might be a little bit more, more organized, but I don't know what you're finding, but I, some of my friends I talk to, they're like, it's just, it's a mess, right? Yeah. The more you're here, the more it's, it's one or the it's, other, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I thought we'd talk about today is just getting started, right? That's like one of the biggest things that you say, because people are, they, they're like, okay, I want to organize and everything, but what do I do? Yeah, so I feel like people, when they look at an organizing project or starting a business, any venture that seems really difficult and scary, they look mm -hmm. at like the long term, the long road of like how difficult it's going to be rather than looking at like, what are we going to do today and how can we start today? So I feel like organizing is the same as like I was reflecting on it this morning with my business and I was terrified and I could go on forever, but to stick with organizing, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you just you have to start. And it's the same thing with anything else. And even though it's overwhelming, you just, you got to look at right now. So if we were to look at today, the first thing we would do is to start. Right. So you have kind of like three main focuses on yeah. the getting started, right? Yeah. Let's go yeah. through those. Okay. So you know, people always ask whether they're hiring me or even like my friends, they'll reach out to me. And so that's what I always say is to just start. It doesn't matter. Like if you're doing it perfectly, you just got to get started and the momentum will come. But, you know, to go into more depth with that, I feel like there's three main points to getting started and to like completing a project overall, whether it's your whole home or one closet, whatever. So with that, it has to be a priority. Like, Prior to starting Lemonade and to, you know, my organizing journey personally, it wasn't a priority, which is why it didn't stick. And that's why it didn't work. Gotcha. So, yeah. So make it a priority. That's like, that's number one. And if yeah. it's not a priority, yes, you can declutter to some extent. And yes, you can, you know, buy bins and all that, but it's never going to stay a system because you don't care enough. And I mean, think about that with anything. Exactly. I was going to say, it's like anything in life, whether it's, you know, getting healthy, you know, starting to work out, anything like that, you do have to make it a priority. Yeah. And of course there's ebbs and flows. I mean, my closet right now isn't great. I got to switch seasons. We're like going into fall in New England, you know, so oh, it's good for me. Yeah. I just pulled down all of my bins to start going through my sweaters. So it's not always perfect. That's not what that means, but it definitely needs to be a priority. Um, so the next thing is the hardest, I think, for people um, when they first get excited about starting a project, but it's to stop shopping. So whether <laughs> that's, <laughs> and I know I told you when we were going through your closet to maybe shut off the stitch fix. Exactly, yeah. You no, know, yeah. and so that was particular to that space. Um, but a big thing I noticed really is when clients want to go out and buy bins because they're so excited. I'll go to a consultation, like I mentioned to you earlier, and they're like, okay, well, I'm going to go to Target because I saw these really cute bins. And they just get really excited because that's, that's the fun part of organizing for most people because that's what they like to do. That's why they have so much stuff because they like to go out and buy things. So you're just adding to that problem rather than <laughs> creating a solution, which is the goal. Yeah. So, um, and then the next thing is to start editing out items so that's really you know that's the just start is to just mm -hmm. start decluttering really is, because that's the first step in starting an organizing project I love so, it yeah I know we talked about a couple different areas last time about kind of where we can start those little projects and mm -hmm. um I feel like working, <laughs> I'm laughing about the, the nylons. Um, so here. my drawer of socks and nylons, literally a full drawer. And I, I was able to edit it down with your help to like a quarter of a drawer. Yep. Yeah. It turns out I didn't need every shade, every, 
texture of nylon and sock and that type of thing. <laughs> yeah. But think about like you. when you went through that, it probably felt like I need all of these until you're actually going through it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's the same with a lot of different spaces in your house, but where you really want to start is a place that doesn't have sentimental items in it. So good point. Maybe under the sink, the spices, something very small that you can just go through and you're not really going to get caught up in emotion. Great. You always have the best tips. I want to keep doing this. Yeah. All right. Great. And so how can people reach you? Um, so Instagram is really easy because it goes to all of the different portals. But if you don't have Instagram, then you could go to my website, which is LemonadeSolutions.com. And Lemonade is L-E-M-O-N-A-I-D. All right. And I can't uh, leave you without mentioning congratulations because you're a mommy to be. Yep. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah. That's so exciting. So and all, all I can think about is how organized your baby's room is going to be. <laughs> yeah. So for anyone that is expecting, um, or even that has kids, I'm going to kind of go along the journey of we're doing a lot of construction and designing and decorating and organizing. So it's going to be fun. Once we get to that certain point in the project, I'll be sharing a lot. Of all right. Journey, so. Oh, I can't wait to follow along. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye guys.